I wanted to explain how to do some calculations in Excel. So uh, here's an experiment, some experimental data one of my students took that involves a lens and a screen and a source. And we have a column here for lens to source distance, a column for screen to lens distance, um, a column for one over D2, one, sorry, one over D1 and one over D2. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So if you want to use a formula in Excel, you start the cell with an equal sign, and then you simply click on the cells you want to compute. So this is lens to source. So I'll click lens, and then I'll hit minus source. So this is going to compute the lens position minus the source position, and it computes 0.448. Now, I could type that formula into all these other cells, but Excel's smart. I can just drag that formula down, and notice that it copies the formula keeping the cell numbers relative. So it's created a new column, which is the differences between the corresponding columns over here. I can do the same thing with the screen to lens distance. I can hit screen minus lens. And I copy this formula down, and that computes the screen to lens distance. Then I can calculate 1 over 1 divided by D1. I'll put that here. I'll calculate 1 divided by D2. Uh, sorry, forgot the equal sign. Equals 1 divided by D2. Put that here. And in this particular lab, what we want is a graph that is 1 over D1 versus 1 over D2. So I'll add a chart <clears throat> that shows that. And there's my data, 1 over D1 versus 1 over D2. I'll add a trend line to that. And I'll say I want the uh, option to display the equation of the trend line. And notice it shows it here. In this particular project, we're interested in the slope, which is close to negative 1. And we're interested in the intercept, which in this case is 14.9. That turns out to be 14.9 per meter. So that works out to be about 1 over, uh, what is it, 0.075 or something like that. Anyway, that's how it works.